The system that they have here is very similar to the Canadian system. They choose their own teams, they have a national championship to determine who's going to go to the Worlds every year, and they have to make sacrifices to curl, just the same as most Canadians do. Because not only do they have to juggle the same things that most Canadian teams do, but they also have to leave their families for a month at a time to go to Canada to train, and it's not easy, but uh, they do it, and they do it because they love the game, and they do it because they want to be top in the world. They're taught to memorize things and they're taught to, I guess, learn a skill to perfection and to study really hard and to try and master something. And they take that into curling also. And for me, it's been really interesting seeing them approach it more of like a craft instead of like a sport. It's more of like an art form or something for them where every day they go and they try and practice their craft and they try and perfect it. And for them, it's very much their life here.